Hello my Sock Universe, sorry for not posting a video yesterday, ah, just my mojo was gone for a little bit for that, but I decided to make another from the collection video, I wanted to show you a shirt yes, yesterday, but I might, uh, you know, do this some other time, but I want to show you a whole bunch of shirts, and it's so many shirts, I'm uh, talking of course about my entire Lusk jersey collection, I'm stopping short of saying it's the Lusk history, because it is obviously not but there are three distinct periods and since there are 15 shirts we almost should get into it already just want to say i'm wearing my first ever lask t-shirt which was at the conclusion of the 94 95 season which actually was quite successful and this is the classic lask logo and it says around lask damn i love you so yeah there you go i wanna go chronologically through the jerseys not i mean i pretty much got them in chronological order because i always bought them when they were just just available i have have haven't bought any uh used over over there so all of them i got new but i want to st still start with um one that i got in 2008 so not the first one i got but it is a replica of the first ever lusk jersey worn uh, which were issued when Lask was celebrating 100 years. The crest, of course, was not there because it's kind of the, not even now modern, but the modernized version with 100 years, the 100 year crest that they put on there. But what, what I like about this with these replicas, they tried to go as realistic as possible. So this is a very heavy cotton thing. I don't think it was exactly done this way, but it gives you the feel. So and the long sleeve with the um, stripes, I remember wearing this um, when I was a teacher in the US and they always thought I'm, I'm a ref. I said, no, I'm not a ref. This is my team. They're playing in black and white stripes. So this is widely considered the classic look and I think this is still one of my favorite uh, shirts of these to wear. Um, another uh, classic look and uh, claim to fame is of course Lask was the first team from Vienna, uh, not from Vienna, to become champions and actually win, win the cup. It was in 1965 and they have uh, not won anything since. And this is a replica of their championship winning jersey, which is a little bit more uh, polyester, but also cotton. It's a, com a kind of different uh, approach and it gives you also a different approach to the design. Yes, we have the stripes. The Lask was not there. Uh, it was all striped, but it gives you the white sleeves with it, which I think is also a nice look. I would wear this probably equally often, uh, however, this is a triple XL, so it's a little bit uh, white, but it's another really beautiful, really typical Lask jersey, and I am so proud because the, um, you know, the player of the century for Lask, Helmut Kögelberger, who died a few year, years ago, he made a um, crib for little kids, and my daughter visited the crib for three months and so on and he he and his wife saw me in, the, in his shirt and i had i don't want to say a big relationship but you know we were on talking terms and this was pretty 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 cool it's all down to this shirt so let's go in the yeah of course it has the numbering style Num number nine i don't know who wore it i probably have to ask my father but you know back, back then there were no fixed no, n numbers but i find it funny it's a black number with some 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 white outline it's really really weird there Okay, let's get into my first ever Lask jersey. And before that, Lask was is never sorry with just one brand. So you actually will see a total of four brands, I think, in this. Um, I remember when I started Star started watching, we were playing uh, act, we were, Lask was actually playing in white with black pants, which is a look that I was not too fond of. But it was Umbro jersey, and the away look is some, some something that my friend really liked. It was like this neon yellow with a little bit even green in there. Um, really, really weird. I cannot. I have. I have tried to find five, five, five pictures, but for most of the time uh, that I started being a Lasker from the early nine, nine nineties to the mid nineties, uh, it was black and white at home, and then some yellow version away. We switched in ninety four to Adidas, as far as I remember, and uh, then suddenly a red away jersey was introduced, which I find really, really beautiful. Uh, it was like this: uh, what Spain had at the World Cup. Uh, that year, uh, but just uh, uh, red with some white, uh, with the white di uh, white diamonds. I really would have loved that one. And the home jersey was like a Germany jersey, uh, except it was only um, 
red and black. But then they also came came out quickly with a yellow version. Then, of course, uh, first in uh, <laughs> the first time in Administrator 9, this was a weird period. It was um, success followed by um, administration twice. So we went in, 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 into administration. We had a little bit um, Adidas, of, we switched to Arima. And then in 96, uh, a new uh, ownership took over. Everything seemed to be bright. There was like, this was a well, uh, he had his own bank. He was a Lusk fan from all the time. And he secured us a contract with Reebok, Austria exclusive. And to make matters even better, this beautiful, and this is widely still considered the Lusk jersey was issued. Um, I think the only thing that could have been done on better if the sleeves were actually striped, but even with the black, it is just a beauty. This is just a beautiful Lusk, especially the uh, and the sponsor, which is a local uh, juice manufacturer. It just fits so perfectly within the jersey. I have to say the players actually wore the crest on the black stripe and the Reebok was black on white, which was put here. But yeah, uh, I got this play. This was my first ever Lusk jersey and it's still in many ways my go-to. It's an absolute, absolute, absolute classic. Of course, we got the away jersey. There's a little bit of story behind, which you can find in its dedicated video. This is actually a brother. And this was the first time that they really sold a uh, um, reddish version. And I, I remember that um, head headlines, Lask will be playing like Milan. And yeah, it's a beautiful away jer a jersey. The sponsor may be a little bit more of a sore spot here, but I think it still looks quite nice. Um, I like the red sleeves. I like that they just didn't swap out white for red, but really I uh, made um, red uh, for black and black for white. And the interesting thing there is I have the numbers that they use. And I think this numbering style on the strap jersey is genius. I really wish this was done more often. You have kind of the nameplate in, in, in a circle and you have nicely put the player. This is, of course, Brandon Augustine, who uh, South African. He actually played at the 98 World Cup, but was thrown out of the squad. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, really, really nice numbering and uh, lettering style. And uh, we played two seasons in these. Um, were up and down seasons on the, on honestly, but it was also a season where, especially the 97, 9, and 98, when late 98, we really built a great team. Then we got Otto Baric, the preeminent coach uh, in the Austrian Bundesliga, and we were gearing up with uh, almost a dream team. We were uh, lots of Norwegian players uh, to challenge for the title. And we did so in these jerseys. And from all I said, this was, yes, white with black pants was a look, but they were wearing this in all white. And I have to say, the first time I saw it, these are not really Lusk jerseys, although I, per se, I don't mind them. The reason I got it, um, because uh, the owner who owned the, owned the bank, he did a lot of creative bookkeeping, and of course the, the team went bust, so uh, 98 was the end of Re Reebok, and, and, and they were starting to sell it off, um, because then another one came, came in. Uh, and I got this one with Peter Stöger, who was playing for exactly 98 for us. And because there was a little error in the flock here on the side, I got it for a cheap and said, okay, this it's not a bad jersey, although it's not a Lusk jersey to, to, to me, but it's a nice one. So I got that one. Curiously enough, we kept more or less the uh, away jersey look uh, the same. Although we adjusted the pants, this is my only match worn jersey, uh, Peter Pavlovsky. This was put on when we were there. we went then almost bust and we needed to find a sponsor who just put this on uh, uh, ugly. Uh, the bank is below this uh, here and then, yeah, it's it's a little bit ugly, but it gives you also there's the league logo on there, gives you a little bit of idea of how uh, the jersey really looks like. Yes, the league logo was uh, was actually here. Then and then the Reebok was put center, but this is actually player version, really uh, much better material than the other ones. So Puma came in, they issued first again a white version with just a little bit of black, like the Lazio kit uh, that they won, I think, the championship in, and they issued this away jersey. 
which initially was not to be had for um, commercially, but we made it to the all all the way to the cup final in that one. And so yeah, uh, <laughs> they needed to issue it, and of course we we got it. I I, I think they issued it the next season or whatever. Uh, I know I hated it at the beginning, but I really really like it. The only thing is I wish that the crest would move down here. My f uh, brother Florian. Uh, he caught a player's version of that of that one at the last game of the 2000 season. Yes, in Vienna when we, when we won. But yeah, uh, it's probably me minimum my favorite away jerseys because it has the red, it has the black, but it, it has a very special look. It's a way look, and of course, we not only reach a cup final, we beat in this one rapid Vienna away from home in the semifinals. Still, my f one of my favorite. Winds of Lusk. Uh, then they came back with the, with the stripes. Puma came with this template, also worn by Lazio. Um, unfortunately, the sponsor washed out a little bit. Uh, it's still a beautiful jersey. I've always thought that the stripes were a little bit too thick. This is more Barcelona look. But I think it's still a very, very nice jer uh, jersey. I got this in double XL. It fits over any jacket. So this is my uh, go-to winter look. And I... I really love it. Um, in this one, we, we, we did it well. However, then the next season after, they switched the color to white with just two black stripes here. I, I, I actually like it. It looks gray, but it's actually all black and white. I actually like this color a lot. Um, and then we got relegated in that, in, in that one. So yeah. Then came the first real dark, dark period. Was I, well, I told you so far, we're going twice in ad administration. We still were kind of managing to stay in the first league because everyone was a favorite with us. But we went into the second one, we couldn't really survive. We went to the second league and it was six long years. Um, 2006, seven, we finally came, came back. And at that point we got Ivica Vastic. I made a video about him. He was one of the players of Austria, especially in the nineties for Sturm Graz. But he had his last hurrah with Lusk, and then we got back into the first league under a management that at that point was uh, tolerated again. It was a tennis promoter who uh, pulled, 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 pulled up the money, but he was only taught to tolerate for that uh, for two or three years where we played again in the first league and did well. And, this, and then we switched to Umbro, I think, in the 2006 season. In the meantime, we had, I think, Homo, and I don't recall the others, but you know, we came with Umbro. And this was this jersey that came back and this was a Christmas present for me that my parents sent to America. Overall, it's a nice look. I hate the, the way they treated the logo, which was now uh, this newish logo, but they took this off. They put the, however, the coat of arms of Upper Austria on there and I really like how they did it here that it's really, really big. Nowadays, it's a little bit smaller. Also, find it funny that the sponsor is up there. I don't like necessarily the treatment of the stripes. But you know you had to fit into this temple and of course i got it with ivica vastage the number washed out as well hurts a little bit but yeah it's a jersey that hangs up here behind the camera it's a classic from that period where it really seemed to go up but then it came down down again because the president could hold on to the coach who went to austria vienna and that kind of started a bad trend. However, in 2008, we also celebrated 100 years. I want they issued a gold jersey, which I really want to have. But um, I got what well, 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 I got is a player issue black jersey without the league logo. That's the one thing that's missing. It's a really beautiful one. This is another one that I like to wear a lot. It has the 100 year logo, which looks a whole lot better than what was before. Uh, it has the crest of upper or uh, the coat of arms of upper Austria. Maybe the sponsor here is a little bit weird, but uh, also not, not also not that bad. And then of course uh, AVE, it's actually a trash company that's here on the back. Uh, would be nice to have a number, but it turned it turns out this is actually a player issue shirt that they were selling. It's an XL, really 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 nice one. Uh, probably my second favorite away jersey. And then became the other dark times. The management was really hated for a formal error. They didn't get the playing license for the league in 2013. And so we had to go for the first. We were already relegated a year before that. So <sighs> Nike took over. We went down. Yaku took over. We had to go in the amateur ranks for two years. 
new management took over. Uh, I think we've stayed with Yako for a long time. And then I think just uh, when we got promoted, we decided to produce our own jerseys, which had their own problems because the sleeves were given away to sponsors, which first were, was another bank um, that had yellow sleeves. And then for the 2019-20 season, they came out, we produced another sleeve sponsor, BWT, uh, Best Water Technologies, and they came out with this one. The outcry over this one, I mean the pink sleeves, it is like a Formula One team also you use it. This is totally the brand, the branding from that. And then the grey stripes, this caused such, such an outrage among the fan base because this was kind of selling away our club's colors. This is, by the, by the way, the bank where we had the sleeves before. Um, I have to say, in my family, my wife, this is my wife's church, and my, my, my daughters really like this one. And uh, in the fan base, it's a little bit now um, seen better because in this one, we beat FC Basel in the Champions League qualification. So uh, there is some success associated with it. However, the company B, uh, BWT realized, yeah, we want to have it more black and white. So I show you my daughter's jersey. They then uh, had everyone who didn't like the one with the great jersey. You, can, you could exchange it. And then they were playing for most of the season in this configuration with the black stripes, which looks in, uh, instantly a lot better. Since it's a kid's version, the beer is replaced, of course, with Lask, so which, which is also nice. However, in the same season, we all had to play in Europe, uh, Champions League uh, playoffs. And of course, with all the sponsors I showed you, that will not work. So we issued some of the nicest jerseys ever. This is the Champions League uh, configuration. I got the stubble for the playoff. You see the, the cold coat of arms a little bit smaller. The interesting part is we have still self many, many, many manufacturing, but we wanted to get the pink sleeve sponsor in, so we made him the supplier right here. And this is now staying on. Uh, I have to say the design is really, really nice. Again, when they wore it in Old Trafford with black pants, this was a look that I liked. I didn't like the all white look, but at least it's black and white stripes. It's a really, really classic jersey, but it's not a classic Lusk jersey. Of course, I got the full uh, full set. I also have Goiganga 27 on, on the back. I made a video about this uh, jersey with, with, with stories. I want to show you the other ones as well. The first one of this collection I got is the black one where I had my mother sewn and the Europa League patches. This is my favorite from the collection. And will end with a color splash. Of course, BWT had to get a pink jersey. Uh, but this was only worn once in a defeat to Sporting Lisbon. Um, I think I had to get this one because finally pink sport jersey. It was more when this season they released another set and they wore it twice at home for no reason. Uh, that also caused a lot of outrage, but you know, I think this pink one actually looks much better than the one that they currently were using. And so there it is, my whole collection of last jerseys. Let me know which ones you liked from these in there. Um, I hope many of you will watch this because Lask is not that well known of a team. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!